Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. And before we get started on today's video, I wanna give a quick shout out to TMW, AKA the Hodge Twins, AKA Lord Keith and Lord Kevin, AKA Mr. Striations and Mr. Feathers, or whatever other name you know them as. Now, we actually share the same partnership here on YouTube through full screen, so I gotta show my support to them, not to mention they have a great channel. So if for some reason you have yet to check them out, you can do so by clicking the annotation on the screen, or in the description box below. And they actually tie directly into what I wanna talk about today, and that is something known as the expert fallacy. So to kind of put this in layman's terms, what is the expert fallacy? It's basically putting trust or credibility into a person solely based off of their looks. So I thought this would be a great subject to talk about as it relates to one of our favorite subjects, bro science. So when you talk about TMW, there's usually two different viewpoints on them. Either they put out great information, or they put out terrible information. Although I think we both can agree that they put out entertaining information to say the least. So even if you don't like them, you probably watch just for the comedic value on them. But oftentimes people argue that their information must be valid because they're in great shape. And I think I see this argument all the time on YouTube in regards to people's information. Either, yes, this person's information is good because they look like they lift, or this person's information is terrible because they do not look like they lift. Pretty simple, right? So the reason I wanted to discuss this in a video is because recently when I was traveling, I saw a program on the National Geographic channel and they kind of played some games with this to see if people made their decisions based off of looks. So the first thing I want to talk about is they had a comedian dress up in a suit and tie. They gave him a fancy microphone and they gave him a camera crew to follow him around and they had him go out to different locations and basically make up news stories and try to interview people to get their feedback on them and they wanted to see if people would go along with these stories simply because this person looked like the newscaster. He played the part well. And what they found is they did. So people went along with him simply because he looked like a news reporter, must be legit, right? Right? So if you wanna see that video, I'm actually gonna link it in the description box below. Another video that they had, which I couldn't find the link to, was they went up to people on the streets and showed them pictures of two different candidates that were running for whatever office they were intended to. And they asked those people to say who they thought looked more trustworthy. And the interesting thing was, is the person that they selected that looked more trustworthy actually ended up winning whatever election they were in about 70% of the time. So, that visual perception really plays a big role. And I want to discuss it in terms of bro science. So for this, I think it's pretty evident in all the fitness industries out here, both with YouTube channels, both with people who advertise for supplements or exercise equipment. Oftentimes they get people who look the part in order to do these simply because it does end up moving more product and more merchandise. But it's not really just limited to the fitness industry either. So have you ever seen any of these commercials out there for lawyers for hire? These injury lawyers who really talk a big game and they have these fancy names on them. They say, call this number, we're going to defend you, we're going to get you all this money. They seem pretty powerful. But the interesting thing is, is these people that they're hiring to represent whatever name of the law firm they're talking about actually have nothing to do with that law firm. They're not even a lawyer in most cases, they're just actors. And the reason they hire these actors is again, they talk a good game and they look the part. If you were to put someone on there who's a full-time lawyer who maybe isn't the best on camera or maybe isn't as aesthetic in terms of lawyers go, which I don't know if that's even a classification or not, you might not be apt to call that person and hire them. In fact, what I'm gonna do show you right now is a picture of a doctor, specifically a surgeon. Both I'm gonna show you first in his work scrubs, looks pretty legit. And secondly, I'm gonna show you a picture of him out of his work scrubs. Now, if his out of the work scrubs person came up to you and started giving you medical advice on your health, how likely are you to believe him? Probably not that likely. So I think it really goes back to the old adage our parents probably told us growing up is don't judge a book by its cover. So the reason I wanted to do this video was just to kind of throw it out there, talk about bro science in terms of should we really believe someone based off of how they look or should we try to take the higher road and really judge them on the criteria of the information they put out and the validity behind it. So I leave that question to you. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.